Hello everybody, this is Kay from k and Shadowing, and this is my Let's Play for Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, uh, I originally put up a preview of this on YouTube, which was supposed to be the first episode, but due to some technical difficulties with figuring out how to delete a previous save file, I made it the preview instead. This is going to be the first episode, and... Hopefully it'll go on from there. That being said, this is my first Let's Play, so please try to be kind. Uh, give me comments uh, and stuff like that at your leisure. And now, uh, l let's begin. Uh, Professor Oak, such an old man. Alright, I'm definitely a boy. Yes, the professor's obviously lost his sight if he can't tell I'm a boy. And... For a name... There we go. Must have a hearing problem himself. Alright. And... Suddenly I'm shrinking. I feel small. What a helpful mother. Just hands out random stuff that she just happened to be carrying. Alright. And I'm off. Only to get hit in the face by a Meryl. Random Merrells. And this must be the Lyra we've heard so much about. My supposed childhood friend. Who doesn't even say hi? That's so nice. Oh, and here's our rival, or at least your first glimpse of the rival. Uh, everybody knows that you shouldn't peek through a window. Stupid peeping toms. Alright, Professor Elm. Have you ever noticed that all the professors are named after trees? Oak, Elm, Birch, etc, etc, etc. Now, I've been playing Pokemon for a long time. And, uh, considering uh, all the different games and within the franchise, I'll admit that Heart Gold is one of my favorites. And not much to really say otherwise. Hmm. You know, sending a 10 year old kid off to collect a Pokemon egg from a random stranger doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Wonder why. Ah. Uh, your first starter Pokemon for Generation 2, Totodile, Centaquil, and Chikorita. Now, I'm a water trainer usually, and Totodile would be my pick. And no one picks Chikorita for some reason. They never pick the grass type, hardly ever. So I think I'm going to go with Centaquil this time, though. Just because, uh, Type Explosion, which Centaquil evolves into, is awesome. And I hardly ever start with a fire type, so there you have it. My Pokemon Cyntaquil. Also, uh, I don't like nicknaming Pokemon. And so, uh, I'm just not going to do it. Sorry guys, but no. I'm not that creative with names. 
Now, it, with this game, this is the first and last of the Pokemon games that they ever tried uh, having the Pokemon walk behind you. Except in Pokemon Yellow, which it was just a Pikachu. But here, it's all of them. Uh, I actually think that's pretty cool. Now she wants to talk to you. Yeah, now that she's got a now that you've got a Pokemon, you're worthy to talk to. Alright, you go talk to your mom. Hey, Mom, look what I found. A very dangerous combustible pet. Can I keep him? Yeah, he'll set the house on fire. Ah, the pokey gear. Okay. It's supposed to be my Poke Gear, yet I, yet no matter what you choose, she tells you how to do it anyway. So really, that's a pointless question. All right, and here we are starting. Well, the Pokemon journey, I guess. Uh, Oh wait, what's this? Professor I must have forgotten something. Why am I not surprised? You know, you'd think Professor Arm would notice the red-headed kid looking in his window as he passes by. Okay, and here we go. Um, I'm going to be cutting out most of the uh, uh, training I do, but since this is the first episode, I'll get you a rough idea of what I'm going to be going through. The grinding is really just not entertaining. Oh, and the first Pokemon I get is a Pidgey. Now, uh, uh, my partner for the Canem Shadow Wings series loves Pidgey. And, uh, he happens to have a Let's Play for Pokemon Leaf Green, I believe. Uh, that's already up. So, uh, I will eventually get to posting the link in the description for his, uh, channel, uh, Stupid Shit We Do TV. Please check it out. It's r rather entertaining. And he's much better at this than I am. Alright, and it's another Pidgey. Very useful Pokemon. Now, uh, usually, um, my first Pokemon that I'd actually catch would be r right off the bat, and honestly, it would pro in this game it would probably be a Pidgey, 
considering that's all I seem to be running into. And now you've got the creepy old man. <laughs> yeah, uh, the old man just happens to drag you around all over town. I always thought this man was a pervert. I mean, he goes around treating you like an idiot, as if you don't know anything about the way uh, it works. And that might be helpful for new players, don't get me wrong, it's just... It gets kind of tiring that you have to follow him around this town. Not to mention that he basically makes you look out at the sea for some random moment, like you can't tell that's water. And then he drags you to his house. Not creepy that an old man drags a ten-year-old to his house. Not creepy at all. And then he gives you a bunch of you. Then he gives you a you bunch of used shoes. That's a very uh, touching, old man. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, see you next time. This has been Kay from Canem Shadowwing.